Guys, I'm awful at lipstick. If you have comments or concerns... <laughs> What's up everyone? It's your girl with blue hair here back today with another really quick uh, makeup tutorial, chit chat, get ready with me sort of thing. I'm going to play with the Tati Beauty Volume 1 palette again with you guys while I get ready to go out for my dad's birthday dinner. Um, his birthday is not for a couple days, but who wants to celebrate their birthday on a Sunday when you can celebrate it on a Friday? So we're going to do that today. You guys are going to join me right now while I finish my makeup off. I have already done my foundation. I am in my uh, under eye lid primer, I guess, this area. Um, the foundation and that little area are both new items for me. So I'm gonna test those out. I completely forgot to film it, my bad. Um, but yeah, we're gonna do eyeshadow. My lids are already primed. I'm gonna clip my hair back and we're gonna get into this. All right, guys, so we are going to play with the Tati Beauty palette again. I do love this palette. I'm still kind of, you know, playing around with it, trying to figure out what exactly I like about it. Um, I definitely love the mattes and I love the glitters. I'm still kind of getting used to the sequin formula and I have yet to try the metallic unless, no, I did try the metallic aura with you guys last time and I'm obsessed with that. However, we're just gonna have a quick little, I guess, rendezvous with this palette today. Hopefully my lighting stays good because it has been crap in and out, in and out. Like sun, just stay out. If you're gonna be freezing cold, at least give me some sun. Okay, so I'm going to jump into some Soothe first because it's always a great transition shade. And ooh, while my eyelids are primed, I don't like when they crease like this before I put shadow on them. So, quick little fix there and we're ready to go. Just gonna tuck this into the crease. And I think I did this with you guys last time and decided that this was not the correct brush to use. Um, but let's see how we go here. So I think I'm wearing a black dress with like red roses on it tonight. Um, so I think I'm going to dive into, um, I think I'm going to maybe dive into Poet today. Deepen the corners up with the same color, just sticking with Poet, and I'm going to dip a little bit into Memory. I'm still sticking with mattes here, by the way. I'm going to use this big fluffy brush right now just to blend these edges out and diffuse them as much as I can because I don't really like the combination of the Soothe Matte and the Poet Matte and how they combined. So I'm hoping that maybe this helps. to matte aura to diffuse this edge right here. All right, that's a little bit better. Okay, for the lid, I think I am going to go ahead and jump into aura sequin on my finger. because I don't want this look to be super dark. So I wanna brighten it up a little bit with the Aura sequin. That 
definitely helps diffuse how bright oops the look was going. I'm going to take some sequin poet also. We're going to see what this looks like on the outer corner just because the poet and memory didn't blend very well together. So I'm hoping this will cover that up. And this is a really pretty blue reflect to it. Let me clean up my mess here. Just a little bit. Now I am going to dip into my favorite, which is Aura in Metallic for the inner corner. I'm going to take a denser brush and go back in with matte Aura under here as well. definitely think poet is I don't want to say hard to work with it's just not coming up the color that I expected it to um, which is weird because I mean it kind of is the tone that it is in the pan but like I don't know I thought it'd be a little bit more burgundy maybe um, anyways that's besides the point for as I go underneath and I'll just be cautious to kind of stay here in this outer corner. I think I'll take a little... Maybe I'll take some of the sequin in Poet also and see what that does. Because I feel like this sequin Poet is a little darker, but that just might be because it's got the blue reflect in it. Gonna dunk back into Aura Matte. And then I'm going to take a somewhat fluffy brush. This is still kind of small but fluffy. And I'm gonna try and diffuse this line a little bit. Just so it doesn't seem like a harsh line. And to clean this side up because obviously I made a huge mess. Waterline with my favorite nude pencil. You can use any nude pencil. And my favorite thing currently, which is my click flick. All right, so right side. Left side. And then fill them in. I'm going to add some highlighter to my face because I feel like I didn't put enough on when I first did it and then I'm gonna be all done here. Actually, let's do some lips. couple glosses. These are the Ulta 3 Get Glossy lip glosses and I tried this one with you guys and I think these 
clump a little bit. If I am not mistaken, or wait, was it that one? Maybe it was just the clear one, because the clear one does say pucker up, and it does say it's a plumping lip gloss. The others don't, um, but let's go ahead. Is that gonna be weird? Mauve. I don't wanna do this one again, because it's like really pink. Mauve, tan. Maybe mauve, let's go with mauve. And the theme is mauve over. Okay, let's dive into this. Ooh. I want to do a little bit. I know there's someone out there screaming, stop that, don't do that, don't put your lipstick on like that. Guys, I'm awful at lipstick. If you have comments or concerns, <laughs> Leave them below because I suck at lip gloss and lipstick and lining my lips, so I need tips. This one smells good. I don't remember the other one smelling that good. So I'm going to smell it right now. Hmm. Both of those smell good. Alright guys, so that is it for the makeup. I am going to try and pop back in here before I leave to go out for dinner, but Everyone that knows me knows that I'm awful with timing and I'm pretty sure that I'm cutting it close as it is already. So if I don't pop back in with my hair done and my outfit on, I'm really super sorry, but that means that's the end of this video. So don't forget to give me a like below. Leave a comment if you have some helpful tips and tricks for me because again, I am pretty new to this and I'm still learning. So anything that could help me could help you because then you get better content out of it. And if I do end up popping back in here, I'll just do another outro later and I'll see you guys in the next one.